Welcome to another Dasher Cam Tesla adventure video. Today we are headed up to Portland for a Tesla owner's Oregon car meet. But this car meet will not be like any others because an outright EV celebrity, Rafael de Mestri, is presenting to the group. Rafael is a pioneer in electric vehicle adoption and pushes the limit time and time again, showing just how inspiring these vehicles really are. He is currently going around the world again and his 2012 Tesla Roadster 2.5 and was kind enough to stop in Portland and chat with our group. I was lucky enough to ask a few questions while he was chatting at the end of his presentation and I wanted to share it with you. For context about his amazing adventure, please visit ADE Days to check out his full story. Let's get into the adventure. Alrighty friends, welcome to Tesla at Macadam. Amity Tesla in Portland somewhere off of Corbett Avenue. We are walking up to the inside of the Tesla meet here. Um, ooh, damn James, looking great over there. What are you doing? I changed now to from European to American style. So that can take the car yeah. from here. Yes. How many times have you had to change like headlights and taillights? Yes, available. Never. Dang. What about 12 volt batteries? One time. So every <laughs> wow. Only one 12 volt battery? That's, that's in, in about 12 years, right? 2012? Is the <laughs> but it's so often in the estate now, how much service is not in. So this is what you have to do. I just had to put it on it. But this is the service we have to That's awesome. Wow. Because of the accident, I changed the, the brake system. I have now a sports, Lotus sports brake system, mm -hmm. which is much better than the original one. Okay. And lighter. Lighter. lighter and better and stronger than you, you feel braking. Yeah. Before it was like braking and then you, it's like on, yeah. a, on a dry road, you think you are on ice. It's just like not, not grip, not having a grip. Mm. You now have a normal normal like a Model 3. Model 3 has really good brakes. Mm -hmm. They look like Dario discs, right? The brand. I don't know. I don't know the brand. I just asked on Google Maps or Facebook. Okay. Are these the original rims on the car as well? Yes. Wow. Yes. From the ring just broke. That ring belly is a former... This ring broke on the way to California, and I had a flat tire, and in California there was one who was specialist. It's, cr it's crazy, I'm having always issues in the, in the holy land of <laughs> where I can find. I found, uh, if you want to have this rim repaired uh, somewhere else, it's super difficult. If you want to have the tires 
this tire size is super special. If I want to have in Germany, I need to wait one month for the delivery. Wow. And they went there. I was in the middle of the forest beside a fire trooper. I went to the fire trooper and said, I have a problem now, Ross. So one moment we will call. And they called the, the tow service. They, they called the tire repair shop. And I just lost three hours. And after the three hours, I had brand new tires. And he said, oh, if you have more roads, I have 50 on stock. Whoa, nice. <laughs> right place at the right time. Wow. Yeah. Can you do good to the university, universe space you back there? Yes, I think. I think I experience it very often. Yes. Never a lot of feedback. So whenever you're charging, you're charging on AC, and you said it takes about like five to seven hours to full charge? Seventy amps. Forty amps. 10 hours if I get oh, yeah. 32, so it takes We're one of the older service centers in the area, so we have to like this, so I'm trying to find always fastest 117, but mostly I'm, I'm using PlugShare, yeah, get the whole bunch but of mostly the information in PlugShare is wrong. They watched us, but now in a hotel here where they yes, said 16 we amp, 60 kilowatts, 70 amp, it was not true. And it, the problem is if you're calculating your route, uh, if you get uh, a, a car charged in eight hours or in sixteen hours, it's destroying your your plan. Mm. And this one was uh, eight kilowatt instead of sixteen, mm -hmm. so half. So it's not just a little bit. Yeah, yeah that's that's a chunk of time. It's a big difference. Luxury is saying no, this is wrong. Uh, is this your only Tesla? Do you have a Model S? When, when this was in the... Uh, you see him? Yeah. My, my model has, has uh, 375,000 miles. Yeah. There was one guy wow. here who has 1 million yeah, miles. Friend. Your friend? You know? I'm the guilty one. I'm infecting people. <laughs> I said to him, I'm driving around the world, how much, I knew that he was driving uh, around the I said, I'm driving around the world, I will drive more kilometers than you. <laughs> oh, I will Let's see who, who's making the first million. He will be then the first kilometer millionaire. And then he said, I will do it. Now he's gone for two million. He, and he's now heading for two million. That's awesome. He already has one million lives. Now the last news I knew. I'm, uh, I'm having a, a WhatsApp group with uh, long distance drivers, Teslas. And we are always sending us the autometers. Oh, yeah. yeah. The whole double. He's, he's, I'm driving a lot, but he's managing to drive two times my mileage. Wow. In Europe, right? Most. Yeah. Wow. Right here, Rosa. Yeah, I think. And he, uh, his, uh, his wife has a huge allergy. Against things. So the best thing he can do is leave the house in the morning and come back in the evening. But he's broker, so he had to sit somewhere and phoning. So what he's doing is he's sitting in the Tesla and he's driving with cruise control 80 kilometers per hour the whole day <laughs> making phone calls. <laughs> wow. I think he's got three batteries changed, right? Over one million, he replaced it three times. Still pretty good. Yeah, most of them were in Boston. So if you decided to go for another electric vehicle that wasn't a Tesla, do you have a brand or a model that you would prefer or like to try? No? Very interesting. Very simple. I tried other cars. There is no alternative to Tesla, honestly. Even with the switches to NACS? The argument is uh, it's very simple. If you're going around the world or if you're driving somewhere and you want to drive seamless, the only option is Tesla. No other electric car. You can go to a charging station, plug in, and charge. You always have to authenticate and do things, blah, blah, blah. It's a nightmare. And then you have, you change the county, then you have another problem, then you have to link, then you have to, to charge on, you have to put your credit card, then it's not working, then you don't have coverage, then you bam, bam. <laughs> Every time you're charging, I, I tested it with a, um, 
Reno Zoe, who arrived from uh, Barcelona to Bucharest, 3,000 kilometers. It took me three days instead of one. Mm. Every charge station, minimum 15 minutes until you start to charge. 15, 15, 15, 15. Why is it? I'm driving electric since 30 years. One time in my lifetime, one supercharger did not work. I took the other one. <laughs> so, until the others don't have this plug and charge, no other brand is really interesting for me. There is, there is this uh, bidirectional um, argument to have a car which can also charge other cars. This I like, Tesla doesn't have so far. But it's, this is the only thing Tesla doesn't have. And all other things Tesla has, faster charging, best, best you imagine when we go to 2024 around the world, we will have charger in the desert, really supercharger. Wow. The whole China is full, so we cannot supercharge the whole thing. And also people, are, uh, other cars to joining uh, the ADE days, no other brand is daring. That's awesome. So you're not going to be taking the roadster on that. You'll take something of one of the. We're taking the model S. Yeah. Every every my, every car of mine has to drive twice the world. We've been together for a while. I would just again like to say thank you so much to Raphael and his team for everything that they have done. Please join me in going to adedays.com to check out more of their amazing story. Raphael references a wreck that he experienced during the trip that totaled his car. You know, I don't want to spoil that story for him. Uh, he also references that the car was in a museum for an extended period of time that didn't properly care for the battery. He ended up having to have it replaced with an amazing R80 battery that almost doubled his range. So guys, check out his info again at adedays.com. Um, I would also like to give a quick shout out to Out of Spec and the team there. Um, Kyle did an amazing in-depth interview with Raphael, so go ahead and check that out. It'll be linked in the description as well. All right, guys, thank you again. I hope that you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one.